Hello everybody. So if you got a pair of rabbit ears and a satellite dish that you no longer need to use, you can pick up antenna signal from within 20 to 30 miles away. Okay, so I took and cut the back end of the rabbit ears off so it would fit tightly in the hole I made here. You want to make a hole directly in the center of your satellite dish. And then you want this to fit tightly in there like this. Give me a minute. Okay, so once you get it stabilized in there, you want to do it in an angle this way and this way with the two corners. So it looks like this. This is how you want it to look. This works best with a broadband dish. That's the oval dish. You can still use the round dish, but I prefer using the oval dish when it comes to rabbit ears. If you were going to use a regular TV antenna, you want to point the TV antenna back into the dish, and you want it to be round, and you want to find center. Okay, let's hook this up. Okay, so we got it all hooked up. The antenna's like this. And there's the dish. And running down the flat antenna cable hooks up to the start of an antenna booster. This is a old 1990s booster. They don't make this one no more that I know of. The boosters that they sell nowadays are looking different, but this one's a little stouter than what they sell nowadays, but it'll still work. You can get an antenna booster for like around 20 bucks at a store. Find the ones that sells it though. So it runs down to the antenna booster and to the converter box. And the converter box runs over to the TV. So now we will go to the menu. We will go to signal strength. As you see here, we are below 30. When it comes to TV, you would like 30 and up. Now, the ordeal was is that I had to move around the yard a lot. So you'll most likely have to move your dish around the house. Remember to keep your dish close to where your TV hookup is. Less cables, stronger signal. More cable distance, more signal loss. Now, through the times experimenting with antennas, I have learned the flat brown TV cable, which is getting hard to find, works the best. So, you will have to adjust up and down, the height, you know, your angle, um, which way you point it, and remember that different stations are pointing different ways, so you can lock it down to your favorite station, or you can try to rig it up with a rotator. Now, on this one here, I just got a little latch back here for a pole, but this is just for temporary experimentation. The TV stations where I live are 100 miles and further than that sometimes. Um, it's hard to pick up antenna here without a big long range antenna and a booster. But the channel that we are picking up right now is a religious channel. Okay. Take back out of that. Turn the volume all the way down. Give you a quick look at the picture quality. As you see, it's a religious channel. Not going to stick on it too long. And it's a little glitchy. So, this is how you take rabbit ears and an oblong broadband uh, dish, and you make yourself an antenna. 
to show you that it doesn't work without the dish, I will put it, the antenna back into its original spot. One second. Okay, I've got the rabbit ears back on the TV like it's supposed to be. And as you see here, it runs down through here, to the booster, to the box, and to the TV. And as you see, there is no signal. So, using the satellite dish does bring in your TV. Now, I'm going to do another study. I am going to glue and attach heavy duty aluminum foil to the dish and put the antenna back on. So, let me go do that and we will see how that does. Okay, I got it wrapped in aluminum. Mm, so far, it has not changed the signal at all. So, just use the dish. You don't have to put money on aluminum, which is a good thing because the aluminum would biodegrade and fall off anyway. But at least that experiment's over with, so that saves you some money and time. The signal is still close to the same. Here I will show you. The signal meter has not gone up in any way. So the aluminum foil is a waste of time. Just go with the Oblong satellite dish. You can experiment with a round one if you like, but then you have to point it more direct. Okay, so I peeled the aluminum off and I'm actually at 33 to 34%. And as you see, as you see, the the dish is now back to being a dish. There is some glue on it, but it won't matter when I take and get rid of it later with a brush, a wire brush. So, I'm doing better without the aluminum than with the aluminum. Okay, as far as it goes, as my experiment, it did fair. There's no 100% unless you're near the broadcast. But it's worth giving it a shot if you're within 20 to 30 miles away. The TV station I was trying to draw in is a low signal just for that one town. So just me getting it on rabbit ears like this is pretty good. On this test, I painted the dish to see if it affects the signals in any way. It has really knocked the TV signal down really low. And apparently the signal is off. So my opinion is, is do not paint your dish. It just makes it harder to draw in antenna signals. Now to strip it all off. <laughs> okay, so I used turpentine to strip all the spray paint back off. And that brought the uh, signal meter jumping between 25 and 30. Just do not paint your dish. It is a big mistake and it takes a long time to get it off. Well, that experiment's over on the paint part. 